Here's to strong women. May we know them, may we be them, and may we raise them. Welcome to Time to Win Podcast. It's not just a podcast. It's the official personal growth locker room of life where champions just like you gather to cultivate their courage, create a life-changing game plan of success, and celebrate their wins. I'm RJ Jackson, your personal growth coach and host, and I'm committed to seeing you win. As a professional speaker and growth coach for over three decades, I've worked with and inspired thousands to grow their greatness and transform their setbacks into a comeback and now it's your turn it's time to win so if you're ready grab something to take notes with we're about to dive in let's go fight win what's going on giant slayers welcome Welcome to another episode of Time to Win Podcast. If this is your first time joining us, we welcome you. If you've joined us in the past and you just refuse to miss out, welcome back. It's always a pleasure to be graced by each of you and your awesomeness. We really appreciate you. Oh my gosh, first, before I say anything, let me say thank you. Gracias, danke, merci. To all of you amazing women who take time out of your day to say you love the podcast, you appreciate our guests, the words of wisdom that we share, and the hope and possibility that we provide. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing us with your friends, leaving comments on our YouTube page, and most of all, leaving your review. Thank you. We appreciate you listening. We appreciate your sharing and your caring to see us win. Because, listen, my friend, it is time for each and every one of us to win. So thanks for saying, RJ, we are not leaving you out. I appreciate you. I really do. Okay, okay. I am like super hyped right now. I am so excited. I'm actually thrilled to kick off a month-long celebration of Women's History Month with you. We have some amazing, incredible women in our lineup just for you coming up this month. Our theme this month is Her Story because it's all about honoring our past, celebrating our present, and empowering our future with her story because we all have a story and it's time for us to tell our story and the stories of one another we're going to dive into the interviews but before we do i'm going to take a moment to reflect on the importance of women's history month now just before i do i want you to hear a word from our sponsor so we'll be right back after this word from our sponsors. Experience precision and tax planning with All Seasons Tax Planning. Melanie Johnson, celebrated for over 25 years of expertise, is your go-to expert for small to mid-sized companies. Known for her unwavering commitment to financial accuracy, Melanie collaborates with clients to build effective tax strategies, enhancing efficiency, and optimizing profits. You can trust her experience and dedication to guide you through the intricacies of tax planning. Visit allseasonstaxplanning.com. That's allseasonstaxplanning.com to ensure your financial success. Because when it comes to taxes, precision matters. Empower your journey at The Cure for Women, where professional-minded women unite for greatness. Unleash your power within by joining our exclusive VIP, Visionary Influencing Prosperity Mastermind Group. Elevate your journey with our life-changing self-care confidence building retreat. Discover the strength of unity, growth, and belonging. Heal, prosper, and find your tribe. Get through what you are going through with the support of The Cure. Remember, there's a cure for everything you're going through. Visit our website, thecureforwomen.com that's thecureforwomen.com and find the cure you long for. The Cure for Women, 
where you heal, grow, and belong. Be sure to visit our sponsors and let them know you heard about them on Time to Win podcasts. So let's dive into and reflect on the importance of Women's History Month. Because it's not just about looking back at trailblazers who came before us. Now, don't get me wrong, because that is certainly a part of it. It, It's also about recognizing the contributions that each and every one of us make to Women's History Month every single day. As women, we all have a story to tell and our voices matter. So whether that's advocating for gender equality, breaking down barriers in male-dominated industries, or simply supporting and lifting one another up. Our contributions as women shape the narrative of women's history. Now more than ever, it's crucial for us as women to unmute our voices, to show up at the table, and to share our unique gifts with the world. Listen, as women, we have the power, and it's time to pursue our purpose, celebrate one another, live with clarity, and show up with confidence and courage. It's time. It's time. And thinking of time, we are running out of time. So it's time for us to put a sense of urgency to the matter. So in honor of Women's History Month, I want to take a moment to highlight two women who have paved the way for us to do just that. Now, their names may not be as widely recognized as some, but their impact on Women's History Month is undeniable. First, let's celebrate Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm was an African-American politician and educator who made history as the first Black woman elected to the United States Congress and the first Black candidate to seek a major party's nomination for president of the United States. Throughout her career, Shirley Chisholm was a trailblazer for women and people of color in politics, advocating for racial and gender equality, educational reform, and social justice. Her groundbreaking candidacy for president in 1972 inspired generations of women and minorities to pursue leadership roles in government and activism. Shirley Chisholm was an amazing woman who was a trailblazer in my community. I grew up in the community with Shirley Chisholm. She was a woman of color who colored the world much brighter. And far away from me on the other side of the world was another amazing, incredible woman making just as much impact. And her name was Maria Risa. Now, Maria Risa is a Filipino-American journalist and CEO of Rapier, an online news outlet known for its investigative reporting and critical coverage of the Philippine politics. Maria Risa has been a vocal critic of President Rodrigo Duterte and his administrative team and has faced harassment, intimidation, and even legal threats as a result of her work. Now, despite these challenges, she continues to advocate for press freedom and democracy in the Philippines. She has earned international recognition for her courageous journalism and dedication to truth-telling. These extraordinary women have made significant contributions in their respective communities and the world at large, leaving a lasting legacy of courage, resilience, and leadership. And now, it's our turn to continue the journey. And as we embark on this journey through Women's History Month, let's remember the resilience, strength, and determination 
of the women who not only came before us, but who are paving the way alongside of us right now. Let's honor their legacy and their contribution by pushing boundaries, challenging the norm, and uplifting one another. It is time out for us to stop competing with one another. It is time for us to start collaborating and celebrating one another. Are you feeling me on that one? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? In a world where women's voices have often been silenced or overlooked, it is more important than ever for us as women to unmute ourselves and take our seat at the table. Collaborating with one another and celebrating one another, sharing our perspectives and acknowledging each other's presence is essential in creating a more inclusive and equitable society. So I want to share with you today three tips that will allow us as women to find our voice and show up with confidence in any space. As I always do, I want to encourage you to get your pen and paper and take some notes. Take note on your heart on where it's important for you to shift so that you can tell her story, aka your story for Women's History Month. All right, so number one, know your worth. Know your worth. The first step to unmute your voice and to show up at the table is to recognize and embrace your worth and value. You bring unique perspectives, experiences, and talents to the table that deserve to be heard and valued. So take time to reflect on your strengths, your achievements, and the impact you can make in any given situation. When you truly believe in your worth, it becomes easier to speak up and assert yourself with confidence. So know your worth. And yes, my friend, you matter. You matter. Number two, practice self-confidence. Why is this important? Because building self-confidence is the key to unmuting your voice and asserting yourself in any setting. When we practice self-affirmations, positive self-talk, and visualization techniques, we boost our confidence and then we can overcome our self-doubt. Overcoming our self-doubt allows us to set small achievable goals for ourselves and then we celebrate our successes along the way. As we do this, we build our confidence. We show up unapologetically. So it's important for you, my friend, to practice self-confidence. And remember, confidence is a skill. It's, It's cultivated over time. So be patient with yourself. Keep pushing beyond your comfort zone and give yourself grace. Now, this is one I promise you I have to practice every single day. Because since my accident, I am so hard on myself. But I'm learning every day to give myself grace. And I realize that the more I give myself grace, the more I build confidence in myself and I unmute my voice and I'm able to show up and speak up in any situation. I want the same thing for you, my friend. So I just want to encourage you, be patient, not perfect. Strive for progress, not perfection. One step at a time, and it does take time. And while we're discovering our worth, valuing who we are, practicing our self-confidence, remember this, you don't have to do it alone. The third strategy I want to share with you to help you find your voice and show up with confidence is to find your tribe. It's so important as women that we stop trying to do this thing by ourselves and that we surround ourselves with supportive individuals who can uplift us and empower us to be our authentic self, who will accept us without judging us. It's important for us to seek out mentors, 
seek out allies and like-minded peers who encourage us to speak our truth and advocate for what we believe in. It's so important for us to have a, a strong supporting network that can provide us with validation, encouragement, and a sense of belonging. This makes everything so much easier. It allows us to unmute our voice and believe in who we are. And then, my friend, we can show up with confidence, knowing that we matter. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I sure am saying it will be worth it. And remember, you're not alone. When you're feeling like, oh, but I don't have anything to bring to the table, you're not alone in feeling that way. But let me help you out. Oh, yes, you do. (laughs) More than you will ever know. And that's why it's so important to find your tribe because people see inside of us what we don't see inside of ourselves. And that's how people will speak life into our life. As we gather together, we get to amplify one another's voices and create positive change. Listen, listen, my friend. When we empower other women to unmute their voices and show up at the table as a collective effort, which requires courage, resilience, and solidarity, we build unity. And by embracing our worth, cultivating our self-confidence, and finding our tribe, we can unleash our full potential and make a meaningful impact in the world. So I just want to say, go ahead, unmute your voice, take your seat at the table, and know that you have important insights and perspectives to share, and the world needs to hear them. So here's to her story, your story, to women who came before us, and to the women like us who will shape the future. Together, let's make this Women's History Month one to remember. Are you in, my friend? Are you in? Well, let's just go do the thing. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey, a reposition journey of greatness. And I want to invite you to stay tuned for more empowering episodes throughout this month. And please don't forget to subscribe, share, leave a comment, leave a review, and help spread the word about Time to Win podcast. Because it is time to win, my friend. So until next time, take care and keep shining bright like a diamond. Because you are women's history in the form of her story. I'll see you soon on the other side of fear. Let's meet at the intersection of confidence and courage where prosperity takes place. I'll see you there real soon, my friend. Bye for now. Thank you for listening to Time to Win. I recognize that you appreciate the value provided in today's episode. And for your gratitude, I'm giving you a Time to Win VIP listener badge. So head on over to timetowinpodcast.com. That's timetowinpodcast.com. And claim your badge and gain immediate VIP access to more of our next level resources and opportunities, including details on the huddle, a table for 10, the cure circle, and the cure retreat. Because you've enjoyed today's session, you can also express your gratitude by rating, reviewing, and returning next week with a friend. Oh, by the way, be sure to screenshot today's episode and share it in your Instagram and Facebook story or on your favorite social media platform. We'll look forward to seeing you again next week in the locker room of life here on Time to Win. And remember... The best time to win is now.